Some of the transmissions I use are training aids that have been taken apart and put together over 150 times by students. Sometimes bolts are missing, stripped, or put in the wrong location. Small parts are sometimes missing, put in the wrong location, or put in backwards. These videos are for training purposes only and should not be used as an overhaul Bible, but instead as a guide to good practices and procedures. Always consult the service manual when performing a repair or an overhaul. All right, only the 10 millimeter head bolts, not the eight millimeter ones. Note the detent and you note the extra bar on the detent. That's got a lip on this secondary support bar that goes up like that. Those are two pieces right there. So make sure you note that. Once these bolts are taken off, the manual valve can come out. And then we can continue with the rest of the 10 millimeter valve body bolts here. That one was stripped already or too short. So we put that together last time, didn't do it correctly. That one wasn't tight for some reason. We only need to take this off to get this bracket off so that we can get these tubes out of the way when we take this off. I can go ahead and remove these now to figure out why that one was problematic. It could have been stripped or it could just be the wrong size bolt. These have had a lot of use. So big screwdriver up underneath the pipe right here. We'll take that off. Pay attention to how they come off because they're tricky to put back on. And then there's one more bolt here up underneath there. It wasn't tight for some reason. Now there's a cable connected to this. It's actually right over here. So right down in here is where the cable is, and we're gonna have to get in there with a screwdriver and a pair of pliers to disconnect that cable. So go ahead and lift this up. If you've got any wires for the solenoids, they need to be disconnected. Let's get this up. There's my cable. Usually, if I'm doing it by myself, a screwdriver will help hold that up. and get in here with a pair of needle nose, rotate this down a little bit, and tweak this a little bit, just like that. Slide that out, now your valve body comes off and your whole transmission. And any wires connected to your solenoid need to be disconnected. The other solenoid, the wire is actually broken on. Once we get that valve body off, there's a seal. This is the second brake seal right here. We don't want to lose that. So make sure you take that off. Can't see it with my black gloves so much. There's an anti-rattle clip right here, as well as a guide bolt. So those, that's going to come out. 